Professor Black Ops. You see it. Let's get it. Apple Pen and Visa hack through locked iPhones. Uh, you see the article. Apple Pay with Visa lets hackers force payments on locked iPhones. That's where you can actually force a payment on a locked phone. So let's get into the article. Academic researchers have found a way to make a fraudulent payment using Apple Pay from a locked iPhone with a Visa card and a digital wallet with Express Mode enabled. This method is akin of a digital version of pickpocketing. It, it, it works over the air even if the iPhone is in a bag or in someone's pocket and there is no transaction limit. The ticket cape uh, payment trick <clears throat> look into uh, relay attacks on uh, contactless payments. Researchers at the University of Bingham and the University of Surrey in UK found that iPhone devices confirm transactions under certain conditions. For payments to go through, iPhone users need to authorize it by unlocking the phone using a face ID, touch ID, or a passcode. In some scenarios, though, such as paying for public trans transportation, Unlocking device makes the payment process cumbersome for some, for some users. Apple Pay solved the problem with Express Transit, a feature that allows a transaction to go through without unlocking the device. So once again, it's Express uh, Transit payment or transit card. Obviously, you need to cut that function out. Uh, Express Transit works for specific ser services like ticket gates, with card reader that sends a non-standard sequence of bytes that bypasses the Apple Pay lock screen. In combination with the Visa card, the feature can be leveraged to bypass the Apple Pay lock screen and elicits payments from a locked iPhone using a Visa card to an MV reader for any amount without the user's authorization. The researchers were able to emulate a ticket barrier transaction by using a proximate Proxmark device acting as a card reader communicating with the target iPhone and an Android phone with the NVC chip that communicates with the payment terminal. <clears throat> As seen in the image above, the method is an active man in the middle replay and relay attack where the proximity mark replays the magic bytes to the Apple phone to trick it and believing that's a ticket gate transaction so user auth authentication to authorize the payment is not needed. This tack is more complicated than this, though. The research explains that certain flags need to be set by modifying some bytes to enable an offline authentication for online transactions. Using the readers, readers that may have intimate connectivity, such as a transit system entries. Raising the limit, digging deep into the issue, the research discovered that they could modify the card transaction qualifier responsible for setting the contactless transaction limits. The modification is to trick the card reader that the authentication step on the mobile device has been completed successfully. During the experiment, the researchers was able to make a GB1000 transaction from a locked iPhone. They tested the attack successfully on an iPhone 7 and an iPhone 12. Uh, Vulnerability is not fixed. The test was successful only on iPhones and Visa cards. The MasterCard, it checks before to make sure the locked iPhone accepts transactions only from the card reader with the transient mar merchant code. Trying this method with the Samsung Pay, the researchers found that the transaction was always possible with the locked Samsung device. However, the value is always zero and the transport provider charged for the ticket based on the data associated with these transactions. Uh, the finding of this research has been sent to both Apple and Visa in October 2020 and May of 2021, respectively, but neither fixed the problem. Instead, the company passed the burden of the fix to one another, so the vulnerability is still present and can be explained off the shelf hardware and software. Visa turned the request a uh, comment for a blooper computer with the following statement. Visa card connected to Apple Pay Express Transits are secure and cardholders should continue to use them with confidence. Variations of the countless file schemes has been studied in the laboratory, setting for more than a decade and have proved to be impractical to execute in scale in the real world. Visa take all security uh, threats very seriously. We work tirelessly to strengthen payment security across the ecosystem. So obviously, <laughs> Visa's passing the buck to Apple.
The details of the research are available in the paper tied Practical MV Relay Protection to be presented in the 2020 Triple IE Symposium on Security and Privacy. Its author, Andrea Red Tomlin and Tom from the University of uh, Brigham, him and Christopher Jared I was from the University of Surrey. Uh, so once again, you can uh, <laughs> do a contactless uh, payment hack between Apple Pay and Visa, lets hackers force payment on a locked iPhone. Once again, be safe out there, uh, Professor Black Ops, cybersecurity for the people. Please subscribe. I'll put the article in the description.